Right when the Road for Champions RTG edition started feeling like it was getting stale. Right when I started feeling like I had nothing else I could do with the account. My boy Azebu SBC saved the RTG. But he's not the only one to save the RTG. There is two cars that I found that are under 500k that are just mind-blowing and will help you get rank one. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Double A9 Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG edition. Listen lads, I'm going to keep it a full stack with y'all. The RTG started feeling a little bit stale for me bro. I felt like I didn't really know what to do with my team. I didn't really feel like I knew how to grind the account anymore i didn't feel like i knew what was next and then ea sports dropped the art the the crazy crazy azebu sbc and we're gonna get into a minute talking about the cars that i'm, I'm that y'all need to try to make sure they can help you get rank one we're gonna get into that right but i want to talk to you guys about how a stupid little sbc like this changed everything for me I started feeling like that count was stale and I didn't know what to do next. And all of a sudden, I'm deep into trying to how, to progress through this Azebu SBC because Azebu is one of a, a player in real life that I just love. And I thought to myself, I got to get this guy. So now every day when I'm on my account, it's not just about getting 20 and 0 and rank one. It's also about how do I make this next step towards Azebu? How do I get Azebu on my account? What SBCs can I complete right now to get me more fodder to complete Azebu? That's kind of where I'm at. And then also trying to do good in the weekend league to continue to progress our fodder, right? Get our fodder better, get our account up. But I've been doing SBCs all day. And speaking of that, before I show you guys the cards that I think that y'all need to pick up, I'm about to complete two SBCs right now to see if we collect a little bit of fodder for a Zebu. So let's get two of these SBCs out of the way. Hopefully your boy collects a little bit of fodder and we can turn that directly into a Zebu. All right, we'll start off right here. Hey, real quick, before we go any further, can we get 2,000 likes? That would mean the world to me, bro. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already in the comments down below. Let me know, are you doing a Zebu or are you staying clear from a Zebu? Again, a lot of people are not Benfiquistas or maybe you're not Portuguese or maybe you don't even care for a Zebu. But if you do and you're thinking about doing him, let me know, man. I want to know if you guys are doing him. With that being said, here we go. Also, has there ever been an SBC that came out that kind of revived your, like, love for your account? Because Azebu definitely revived my love. I got an 80-plus player pick here, man. We're going to get this out of the way first and see what we get. Can we get something big, please? EA! 88 is good. 88 is good, lads. 88 is very good. 88 is exactly what we need, man. A nice little 88 rated card right there. We're going to put that directly into the Azebu SBC 100%. And um, yeah, we'll continue to swing through this and um, hopefully, like I said, keep getting better and bigger things on the account. Okay, in one hour, I'll get my pack and uh, yeah, we'll go from there, man. So again, the Azebu has just really, really saved us, bro. And then the two cards I want to talk to you guys about. For so long that my viewers, a lot of viewers know, and a lot of y'all will know about these cards and a lot of y'all will be like, yo, listen, I've been known about that, but some of y'all are going to be like me and maybe you were a little bit stubborn or maybe you didn't really pay attention or maybe you thought you thought you didn't need it. And that's kind of what happened with me. And now that I've used these cards, I realized how important they are in this video game. Before we go any further, we got this 100 player pick right here. We're going to hope for maybe an 87 plus. That would mean a lot to us, EA. Please, an 87 plus. It doesn't look like an 87 plus is happening here unless we get a double walkout, which we don't get a double walkout, which means an 86 is going to be the high 87. Still good. I mean, it's 87. Kind of hoping for the 88s, 89s, but hey, man, 87. Can we get a few 87s? No, not a few 87s. A lot of 84s, a lot of 80s threes we're gonna recycle these into another SBC for sure so as you guys can see this is the SBC I'm currently working on right now I'm a little bit away from actually getting it to an 89 hopefully I can get it to an 89 pretty soon hopefully that happens for us and um, we can continue our road to a Zebu but every day we'll make a little bit of a progress every single day towards this SBC getting it done getting fodder completing more steps and completing SBCs to turn into SBCs right that's kind of the way it's gonna have to work but with that being said I know you guys want to know about these cards I've been speaking of and we're going to jump into some weekend league gameplay which at the moment we are actually undefeated in the weekend league but I want to talk about two cards that really will actually change the way you play this video game and how much they will help you now a lot of you guys might know about these cards but for the longest time I ran Aitana and I run and I ran Luka Modric and I felt that I was good enough and it was good enough I got a lot of rank ones right but I never knew how much easier Putellis makes this game she is a card that for the longest time, I just didn't pick her up. It was a card that I didn't really feel that I needed to upgrade Aitana. Aitana was great. I didn't have to upgrade her. I never felt I needed it. But this card is a card that 
will transform the way you play this video game in the midfield. It will transform the way you control the game going forward. It's a card that, yes, a lot of people have heard about and a lot of people have talked about it. But when you really, really start to see what this card can do, when you really play with it, you start to understand how important this card is. And another card is Henson. These two Barcelona girls are the best of the best that you can get in the gold positions. Like they're the best, they're the closest thing you're gonna get to an Icon Azebu or an Icon Pelé or an R, not an R9, but like those type of cards. These cards have that type of an impact and they're under 500,000 coins. I bought her at five, she's tanked a lot, but these are the best of the best cards. And for a long time, I was, I was just ignoring it. I was like, I'm fine with Salah. I'm fine with Aitana. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And the more I play with them, the more I understand how easier the game is with them. They are incredible. Now, a lot of people, because we're in December now, will think, well, I can't run gold cards. Gold cards are outdated. There is not many cards in this game that are going to beat these cards. Henson is by far better than Salah. Henson is by far better than Rodrigo. Henson is by far better than Aidama or any card that you're going to get on that wing. And when you talk about Putellis, she's better than I Aitana. For sure, she's better than Aitana. Although I love Aitana, she's amazing. She's better. She's better than Frankie de Jong. She's up there with Luka Modric, probably better than Luka Modric. They're two different positions, though. She is top tier, bro. The only player that's going to come in for her and replace her is players like Hullet. And if I'm being honest with you, I played with Hullet on my other account, and I think Putellis is better than Hullet. So a lot of people will have a hard time understanding, but I need you to understand that this is coming from a place of somebody who ignored this card until now. I did not touch this card in September. I didn't touch this card in October. I didn't touch this card in November. December, it's four months into this game and I only picked her up now. So I was one of the people that was thanking other cards and there's no point of thanking it. This card is her. She is amazing. She is a fantastic card. She plays incredible. She's changed everything about this team going forward. And the same thing with Henson. I just took too long to open up my eyes. And now that my eyes are opened, I can feel the difference that she brings to the table. But not just feel the difference, I wanna show you the difference. We're gonna head back into Weekend League, continue to try to get our 20 and 0. We're undefeated right now. We're gonna jump back into the Weekend League, grind some more games, see if we can get our packs up so that way we can complete the Boya Zebu. But lads, if you haven't played with Henson, if you haven't played with Aitana, and I know there's a lot of you that are thinking, Skills, we're four months and ain't no way you showed us gold cards. Four months in, lads, I didn't use most of them. And four months in, and a lot of you just picked up the game maybe during Black Friday, all right? So for the newer people or for people that were just like me that didn't want to give them a try, try them. And I promise you, these two cards are what's holding you back from maybe getting your best finish ever. Rank one, rank two, rank three. It will get you there, bro. These cards are immaculate. Let's jump into some gameplay. Here we go, man. Another weekend league game where we get matched up against Vidic. Rice and Bobby, nice team. This guy has a very clean team, man. Very, very clean team. Let's see what we could do. Hey, we take an early lead, but I'm not sure my opponent was playing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think he was playing. I'm not gonna go ahead and take credit for that. I think I just scored a cheese goal, man. I'm pretty sure he might have been. I don't know. He wasn't moving. Maybe he was moving. He's moving now. Potatoes. Good find to Zebio. Man. A Zebu with a hat trick and look who assisted him. I'm telling you, man, the offense that she brings to the team is lovely. She brings something outstanding. Her ball movement, the dribbling, the L1. Look at that right there. Another good find to guess who? Henson, who shoots. He moved keeper. Otherwise, we score again. And you could just see how they are impacting this game in a magical way, man. Modric, back post, Rio there. No, it's not. Stop the counter, please, with John Anariza. That's exactly what we do. We give it to my boy Namor, who hits the roulette, who hits the shot, gets blocked. But guess who's there? It's Azebu. <laughs> Azebu. 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 Milrey Azebu, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, lads. We are going to remain undefeated as we move to 4 0. That means we only have one more game with Azebu. But, lads, you can see the impact that Putellis is having. By the way, that was a five back that we just destroyed like that. Um, and again, I just want to say, I probably say her name wrong. I apologize. She's in, she impacts the game in a massive way. Her and Henson are crazy cards, man. Um, my boy Azebu played not even 30 minutes and he dropped that, uh, four goals. Um, Eto got two assists, which is really nice, but 
you could just see the impact that these cards are having on the team so quickly, so early. And the one thing that is kind of sad is that Putelas and Hansen will have to leave for me to be able to complete a Zebu. It's just what's going to have to happen after another weekend because we got to get coins to get our coins up to be able to complete a Zebu. So Rio will have to leave as well. But it's not because I want them to leave. It's because I got to get a Zebu. Once I get a Zebu, then it'll be Project Henson, Project uh, uh, Patelis back into the starting 11, right? We'll start saving up for them. We'll start going out there, you know, playing drafts, doing whatever we got to do to get our coins up, taking tradable instead of untradable, doing whatever we got to do to get our money up, right? Got to get our money up, not our funny up. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to have 20 lovely games with Patelis. We're going to have 20 more games with Henson, and we're going to have 20 more beautiful games with Rio, who is my favorite center back in the game. And once we're done with that, we'll sell them, we'll complete a Zebu, and then it'll be Project, bring them back. But in the meantime, and in between time, let's go have some more fun. As we enter another game, we are matching up against a Road to Glory. He does have Maldini. He has Jude Bellingham, 88, and Holland in the starting 11. Very interesting. Remember, this is our final game with the Zebu. Our final game with Lona Zebu, but not for long. A Zebu will be back, and he will belong to us very soon. Carlos Alberto. Mauro staying with it. Here's a Zebu. A Zebu. A Zebu. Into the middle. Look who's there. Look who's there. Look who. It's magic. It's magic. I know you're saying it's just a cutback, but it's the AI movement of a card that you just don't get that from many cards, man. There's not many cards in the game that are that meta to be able to give you that much space, find the movement without you even telling her to make the movement. She does it by herself. Come on, Neymar. Come on, Neymar. Come on, Neymar. They don't want to guard you, we going to run it up. They don't want to defend you, we going to run it up. My boy Neymar, ah, you know what I mean? Take that wing, put it into the back of the net with an easy finesse shot. Simple, man, simple. Meta cards are crazy right now. Neymar, Henson, Patelis, I just, it's just, man, this team is nuts, man. Love that, man. I love that, lads. The experience that I'm having, right? The, the, the fun that I'm having. It's a different experience. It's not like any other, it's not, it's just like over the weekends of me having Henson and now having Patelis, like it, the proof is in the pudding, right? These cards, they're only 300,000 coins. And to a lot of people who've been playing this game since September, whatever, when it came out, it's a lot, but it's not a lot no more. And the truth is lads, these cards are the, be the best on the market, man. It, it's not gonna get no better. The, these cards are guaranteed to get you this rank one. They're guaranteed to get you these, these better finishes. And you guys are seeing it in front of you, bro. I've played all five games with y'all. It's all up on the channel. And every single game you're seeing either my boy Azebu absolutely slay, or you're watching Patelis absolutely slay, or you're watching Henson slay. Do you realize that that's five goals all in the weekend league? That's four goals all in the weekend league um, from the center mid position and three assists. Lad, she plays the four in a 4-4-2. Four, four, she is at center mid, you know? She is at center mid, man. That's crazy. To put up four goals in five games from the center mid position in the weekend league, bro, that's something that usually you do with your strikers. That's something that like Eto was doing or like Neymar when I had him up there. That's crazy awesome stats for a midfielder. Azeb, like you look at Eto's, what did Eto do? Let's see what Eto, I mean what Azebu did. Azebu in five games put up nine goals and three assists. Patelis in five games put up three assists and yet she came short of a couple goals of his, but guess what, she's a midfielder. It's crazy that she's keeping up with Azebu from that position. She is incredibly good. For now lads, we have to say goodbye to the Rey, to the Befica legend, bro. We gotta say goodbye to him for now. He did pick up crazy stats, man. Three assists, nine goals, five games. Unbelievable from Azebu. Azebu, I love you, brother. I'm sorry we have to let you go. But for now, lads, that's the way it has to play out. We'll bring Antoine Griezmann or potentially Rodrigo back into the lineup. Most likely it's gonna be Rodrigo because if I go with Rodrigo, I could then move Neymar back to the wing, back to striker, and I feel like we probably have the ability to score for Neymar to be better because Neymar's not that fast down the wing. So now it'll be Rodrigo and Henson on the ring with Patelis down the middle and uh, Modric kind of clamping it up. Lads, I, I, I for a long time didn't commit. I for a long time didn't believe. I for a long time thought that Aitana was that the end, you know, 50K, that's it. And she is her. She's amazing. 90, 96 games, 98 games played, 20 goals, 31 assists. She's amazing. I wouldn't, I would, I would never go back and change anything. She's amazing. One of my favorite cards in the game. But the difference in Patelis is wild, bro. What she brings, the AI movement, 
it's incredible, man. It's incredible to play with. One thing I do want you guys to know, and I told you guys in the last episode, while we, when we get a Zebu, it'll be a Zebu in this position. It will be Sala in this position. It will be Aitana in this position, and it will be King in Rio's position. Just until, just until, lads, we go ahead and buy Rio back. Or if we don't want to run King, we're going to run Carlos Alberto. Okay, lads, we'll run Carlos Alberto at the center back position, and then we'll bring in the one and only Lorente back into the team, and we'll run the team like this. So the time that we have the little downtime after we complete a Zebu and we sell all these cards to put our money into a Zebu, the little downtime, we're still going to have a good team, but we're going to have to just, you know, play around with it and not have the, the same team we have right now. But this right here, lads, even if I sell Aitana, right, and we just go like this, and we go, this is still a great team, right? And then up top, we could do something simple. Even if we don't want to play Mo Salah, that's okay. We, then we got this, you know? And that's our team. And guess what? That's a fantastic team. But guess what? This Griezmann is going to be a Zebu. Okay, so think about Griezmann being a Zebu. And then you have Frankie De Jong, who's amazing. Lorente, who's amazing. And Rodrigo, who's awesome card still. And if we don't want to do that, like I said, with Eto'o in the lineup, then we just can go ahead and swing back towards Mo Salah. And Mo Salah, with another icon, should be very close to chemistry when I give him a, a, a manager link, right? So, lads, we have so many options. It's going to be sad when we sell these amazing cards. And I don't want to sell them. I want everybody to know. I'm hyping them up right now for you guys because of how good they are. And I don't want to lose them. I have to lose them because I want a Zebu. But I promise you this, they will be back. They will be back, lads. They have to be back. They're incredible. And it took me too long to find that out. I messed that up. But it's all right, man. Anyways, guys, I hope this helps you guys, man. I hope you guys open your eyes. Like, I open my eyes if you haven't used them already. The, this 300K meta card will change your team completely and help you get better finishes. I promise you that. I run 4-4-2 with her at center mid on balance. She's incredible. She'll change the way you play. I promise you that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's RTG episode. If you did, smash that big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on. I appreciate you guys being a part of the channel. And I will catch you back here tomorrow where hopefully we complete two to three parts of a Zebu's SBC and also hopefully drop a nice little 20 and 0. All right, thank you all for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Booyah, take care.